welcome back and uh, we have been joined by our expert of the day you know just to hear a professional perspective of raising kids and discovering their talent and most importantly nurturing it karibu sana please introduce yourself uh, my name is albert mwangi i'm a casting psychologist mm -hmm. from vika mm -hmm. and uh, currently i'm attached at kashajiro mission hospital okay yeah in moranga county all right yeah. karibu sana inu leo tumekuwa na kamgeni kadogo <laughs> na baba yake i'm sure uh, you've heard about you know his talent yeah. and uh, again in your line of work we know it's not just about mental health matters yes. but kuna you know the family unit yes. because it's that's why it all begins yeah. once you receive somebody no matter matter what they're going through you have to check their background yeah. and their background is the family their childhood probably and all that so um, according to you uh, is there a right way to raise a child especially for fathers because you know fathers are the pillar of the family they are the the safe space they are the ones that kids try to please especially boys at a certain age is there a, a, a way that fathers should conduct themselves to you know have such amazing talent you know because uh, i'm sorry again I'm, i'll keep going back and back so that we can drive the point home uh, like uh, roger said he was brought up by a dad who provided everything but he was never there he was not present um, could you just package for us yeah. what is the ideal way for a father to be uh, Thank you very much. Yes. In the first place, mm -hmm. I want to say that uh, rearing a child is not a simple task. Yes. You must be there. Yes. And the other thing, uh, the other thing is, you can delegate everything, but you cannot delegate child bearing. Yes. The reason is, mm -hmm. the attachment you have with your child right away from the time of birth till the time that child becomes an adult. Yes depends on how you are going to, to attach with that child. Very true. The first friend of a child mm -hmm. is the parent. Right. And I want to put this uh, categorically mm -hmm. on behalf of the fathers. Mm -hmm. You know, the most uh, strong attachment between the child and the parents is between the child and the mother. Very true. The reason is mm -hmm. the child is being carried by the mother for nine months. Yes. That's, that's the first attachment. <laughs> yes. The, the, the second attachment, the child is being handled by the mother all the time. Yes. When circling. Yes. Looking at the face of the mother. Yes. And leading the environment. Yes. The child learns the environment mm -hmm. from the face of the mother. The mother. If the father is so harsh mm -hmm. to the mother, mm -hmm. the child will learn the harshness of the father uh -huh. through the face of, of the, the mother. mother yes because the reaction mm. of the mother is very important yeah. to the child yes so when i talk to the father mm -hmm. i would like to tell the fathers that they must be present when bringing mm -hmm. out the child mm -hmm. this is because the father is always a neighbor to the child mm -hmm. because the mother is the one who introduces the child to the father True tells sure. you mm -hmm. this is your father mm -hmm. then for you father to accept the introduction mm -hmm. you have to accept the child the way the child is and send a good example to that child mm -hmm. so that he will learn and have confidence with you wow because most of the children mm -hmm. they don't have confidence with their fathers sure the reason is mm -hmm. the fathers are the ceo in the house of the house and the you know in every company yes we don't have good relationship with our ceos very true we don't have yes because these ceos are laws implementers mm -hmm. they just come to tell you do this mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. and do this this is what happened even in our time when i was being brought up personally i was brought up by a, a clergy a pastor mm -hmm. my father was a full gospel pastor okay and he brought up like that mm -hmm. and I have not of, of different with my friend mm -hmm. who said that the father was there yes. but he was not there. Yes. Most of the children mm -hmm. are in their families mm -hmm. but they are as sat as, as if they are mm -hmm. orphans. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they do not have their fathers. Mm -hmm. If a father is a teacher, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. comes in the house with a teacher figure but not as a father yes figure, figure yes so the child becomes confused he just wants someone to mentor him mm-hmm. but he he lacks someone to mentor him yes i am happy because of the uh, of, of my friend here mm-hmm. because he have told us that uh, he engaged the wife and the child mm-hmm. to support one another mm-hmm. to produce a song mm-hmm. and we have seen how the child uh, can sing mm. imitating the father yes, yes this is a very good example yes. of fathers outside there yes they should imitate this kind of a father yes whereby mm. let your child learn what you are doing mm. through your actions yes yes i want to i want to say this mm-hmm. that uh, most of the people think that they use their ears mm. children use their ears mm-hmm. but no Mm-hmm. Definitely no. Mm-hmm. Children do not use their ears, mm-hmm. they use their eyes. Yes. And that's why a teacher of uh, ECD uh-huh. uses pictures uh-huh. more than shouting and Very talking. Very true. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody, mm. even those people in media like you people. Mm-hmm. If I bring my advert, yes. which is uh, which is audio, yes. and the other one is visual. Visual. Yes. Visual is going to be expensive Very than true. audio. Yes, Why? Yes, yes. Because even our brain, mm-hmm. the part of the brain that mm-hmm. concentrates on eyes mm-hmm. is very powerful yes. than the one that concentrates on the yes. ears. Yes. So if you are doing things in your house, know that your child will never listen to your words, yes. but you listen to your, mm-hmm. they will just see what you are doing. Mm. And this is what is happening with the boy child. Mm-hmm. Boy child mm-hmm. is having an, an absentee father. Eh? Mm-hmm. So most of the time they are seeing ladies. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I visit a certain primary school mm-hmm. and out of that four teachers mm-hmm. only two are male. Two. Ah, yeah. Two. At home mm-hmm. the child is seeing the mother. Yes. At school the child is seeing who? One. That's uh, yes. Just seeing yes. the ladies. Yes, yes. So yes. this child is going to be method by ladies. Mm-hmm. And most of the behavior of this boy child is now becoming uh, not even having that masculine being strong as a man but being weak as a lady, in other way. I'm mm-hmm. not saying that the weak, ladies are weak, mm-hmm. but in that area mm-hmm. whereby mm-hmm. Uh, a boy does not engage himself in activity, outdoor activities. Mm-hmm. You know, when we are young boys, we had a lot of outdoor activities. Mm-hmm. We, my, our fathers could not buy us footballs, mm-hmm. uh, the ball. Eh? Mm-hmm. We used to make them, but nowadays they cannot. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they, are, they do not have those people the fathers who are crafts very true creative very true yes because they yes. are not there yes they are not there yes. it is only their mother uh-huh. who give them those soothe activities mm. soothe activities mm. but the vigorous activity that strongs the muscles mm-hmm. you know you know this man that was called uh, charles darwin talked mm-hmm. about the evolution theory yes, yes it is very evolution important theory, yes. that the more you use your muscles mm-hmm. the more it becomes it becomes stronger and that's why yes. men are muscular oh, than true. ladies because they yes. you carry Yes. And that's why he said that men mm-hmm. are there to carry, uh, uh, if to go to hunt, mm-hmm. carry a, a big animal mm-hmm. and bring it to the wife. Mm-hmm. The work of the wife is to just to cut pieces. Mm. So the, the muscles were not strong. But mm. the muscles of a man is very, very strong. That's why father is very important to a, ba- to a boy child to yes. make those muscles mm. strong yes. for him yes. to, to, to take care of the family. Yes. You know, if a boy child mm-hmm. does not come up with a lot of strength, yes. then maintaining a family mm. is the problem. Mm. If you go outside there and look at boy child, mm-hmm. even getting married is a, pro- mm-hmm. is a problem. Mm. Why? What do they do? After not getting enough mentorship mm. and empower- empowerment, yes. they, they find themselves inferior mm. and to make them strong, they engage in drugs. Ah, true, true. That's why you are seeing a lot of boys, mm. young men, mm. in drugs. Why? Mm. Because the problem began at, at home. home, at the age of zero, going up to age of seven. That's where the character of a child grows. And when you see a ch- your child having drugs or what, we have said that that is the root, that's a fruit yes. of a certain tree that mm. has already grown. Mm-hmm. So just look where the tree mm. started. Mm. And this is why I'm saying that when a father does not provide mm-hmm the correct mentorship yes. to the boy, yes. then the boy goes astray. Right. Anything that is not directed mm-hmm. moves towards the wrong direction. Right. So it is the obligation of every father in the society mm-hmm. to make sure that he is present for his children and not only the boy child, mm. even the girl, the girl child. child yes. Because most of the girls mm-hmm. like being married mm-hmm. to, the fa- to the husband mm-hmm. who behaves like their father. True. 
and children, every so boy yes. like yes. to marry somebody who behaves like, like the mother. mother. Yes. So it mm. is your duty mm -hmm. as a mother and mm -hmm. as a father mm -hmm. to make sure that you send a very noble character mm -hmm. that will sustain your child mm -hmm. in the future. Mm. Because the way that child will develop right from your hands mm -hmm. to the time that is going to be handled by the community mm -hmm. depends on your character absolutely because the, yes. the attachment that this child is going to have mm. will depend on the attachment that he got from the the parent, from the parent if yes. you go to school and mm. see these boys and girls who are bully mm. it is because they came from a family that, that yes. is has a lot of Bullying. violence yes 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 a violent father mm. or a violent mother. mother they mentor violence mm. a violent child mm -hmm grows up being violent, Very holding true. a lot of anger mm. in, her, in her mind mm. and in her heart, mm. which he has nowhere mm -hmm. to empty. Mm. And he goes to empty mm -hmm. the, other two, the other children yes. in the community. I, I agree. And yes. uh, again, uh, wow, this actually went so good because uh, we have correlated a, a child's upbringing and their father's presence and how they act out in the society. Yes. And in this case, we are seeing a very present dad who has observed and saw that the child has talent. And not just that, it's the child observing and seeing what the father is doing yeah. because we forget that children, they don't hear, they watch yeah. and they mm -hmm. emulate. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I would like to just applaud, you know, <laughs> Rogers and uh, his beautiful son over here. So uh, just to wrap this up, yeah. Yes. What, what can you tell parents at home who have seen their kids have talent or they're seeing their kids doing certain things and maybe they're thinking this is not, not what the child should be doing. Instead of nurturing, maybe they try to redirect them elsewhere. What would you tell them? I just want to give an example of mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. I was so talkative. <laughs> and my mother used to even to, mm. to irony me. Yes. Even my brothers and my sisters. Yes. Telling me, you, you, are, you are keep on talking, 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 talking. Mm. And they were not happy with me. Mm. Even one day, my mother told me, I'm going to put a hot panga in my mouth mm. Eh, mm. to keep quiet. Yes. But it, it never worked. Wow. Because. It's who you are. Yes. Yes. And, and this is what we do to our children. Mm -hmm. If, you, if, if at all you are a, a masonary mm. and you see your child holding a mm, hammer, mm. you take that hammer from him yes, immediately so yes. that he cannot hit himself. Mm, mm. In afraid that he is going to be injured yes, himself. Yes. But when a child is at his age of six to seven, that is industrious stage. Mm. If you don't nurture that child, mm -hmm. he is going to have a lot of guilt mm, in him mm. because he cannot touch such a thing, he cannot touch anything because whatever is going to touch is going to destroy. And this is how we destroy the talents of our children yes. because it grows right yes. away from... Yes, 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 from infancy. Infancy. Yes. And that's why the government has come with this, they are calling what? Mm. Uh, I, 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 uh, CBC. Yeah, that one, C CBC. CBC. Yes, yes. yes. Eh? yes. Curricular-based what? Mm. A curriculum-based program or that, that's that education. <laughs> yes. The child learns what he wants. Very true. Because most of the children, mm. even nowadays, mm. they are not in the career that they love. It's true. They have done the wrong career. Yeah. <laughs> they got the wrong job. Yes. They end up going getting even the wrong wife. And they ring they live the wrong life. Life. Yes. Yeah. Just because of them. So parents. Yes. yes. Parents, mm -hmm. I want to urge you sincerely. Mm. Just look at your child. See what your child can do. Even if you see doing it longer, guide him or her. Yes. And that child is going to be mm. a good person. Mm. Be a good role model mm. to the child. Mm. Yeah. Let the child learn from, he can even learn from other children at school. Uh -huh. Then you see him implementing something. Uh -huh. Help that child implement that thing. Wonderful. I want to, people to learn from an ego. Yes. An ego mm -hmm. teaches the children mm -hmm how to hunt and how to do everything. Yes. He can fly with a kid, yes. then he drops <laughs> the kid. So it's not a myth. <laughs> no. Yes. After the, the kids are grown up, mm -hmm. it destroys the nest. Oh, wow. So they can fly. destroys the nest completely. <laughs> yes. And they fall down. Yes. And there will, not, there will be no time yes. that they come again together. Yes. And there is no single ego mm. that can mate unless the, the, the male one mm -hmm. has a nest. Ah. Because he just has to learn, learn how animal. to make it. Yes. Really learn, learn, yes. learn from the nature. Yes. And you are going to be wise. Yes. This is what I'll tell parents. Mm. Learn from nature mm. how the animals behave mm. with their kids. Mm. And you are going to be, to be wise. Even the birds. Mm. Learn from them. Mm. You are going to, to be wise. Mm. When a child is growing, 
nature not only the, the mm. material things, yes. the inner value of a child. Of a child. So very important. Yes. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Rujas, one last uh, minute. What would you like to tell parents out there? I would like to speak to probably the fathers. Mm -hmm. Kindly be responsible for your kids. Be responsible for your kids. Have time for them. I know it's not easy. I know it's tough. By the way, us men taking responsibility is always not easy. Yes. That's another thing. Mm. <laughs> you can tell a lady, yes, I love you. But when this lady tells you now we are going to be married, yes. hey, it's not easy. It's a different story. So mm. take courage. Yes and focus mm -hmm. and study each and every step as this child grows Wonderful. and God will really bless you. Wonderful. Yeah. And last but not least, <laughs> Hailey, what would you like to tell kids out there who feel like, you know, they have a talent, they know how to sing, they know how to dance, what can you tell them? I can tell them. Mm -hmm. You can say hi. Yes, please say hi. <laughs> oh, you want to say hi to mom? Come, come here, come here. We we'll say hi to mom. Okay. So yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> May I have that? Yeah. So say say hi to mom at home. Look at that camera. That one. Hi. Hi, mom. I am good. <laughs> say hi. Oh, and prosper. Hi, prosper. <laughs> Well done. Thank you for being such a nice guest. Would you like to tell people, see you next time? See you next time. Oh, yes. See you next time. And do not hold back in, you know, taking your child the other direction or living your dreams through them. Once again, Tomoka Coffee House in Westlands Center, Anana Center, rather, in Westlands. Thank you very much for having us tonight. And... Uh, Again, we look forward to being here one more time. Thank you. Have a good night. Wave at the people. Wave at mommy. Bye. <laughs> Bye.